Hi, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck, Happy New YouTube Beathies, Community, and Stick and Burn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ooh. I went, no expenses paid. No expenses paid? No. Well, no. Well, you know how that phrase goes. Anyway, looking for my wide angle lens, little plasticky green thing. It's green. I lost it. And it's green. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. But, uh, yeah, it's a dollar thirty-three, so I'm gonna find it, goddammit. Um, it's not like I have some better thing to do, like work. Uh, so whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, yes, I'm smoking a cigarette. I thought I would share that with you. This is something I'm doing. I'm sharing it with you. I'm saying, I'd like to share this nice little cigarette moment with my YouTube audience. Now, of course, some of you will... Just say stupid, idiotic, snarky, jackass things. Like, oh, you're smoking again? Some kind of crap. No, I'm not smoking again. I Yes, I'm smoking in the sense I'm smoking a cigarette. But no, I'm not smoking cigarettes as a lifestyle choice anymore. As I am inhaling nicotine instead. <laughs> yeah, somehow that's much better. It's not as dirty. So I'm still addicted to nicotine. But yeah, I'm not smoking it. So therefore, I... I'm a human being again, in some people's moronic and idiotic perception. Um, yeah, I know it's a little distracting, but yeah, I know I dropped it here. I mean, I already made this what the fuck, but the damn lens fell off, and I didn't know it, and the focal length was, you know, this. So I hate that, because I look like fucking hell. And uh, so that was unacceptable. I mean, it's between here and here, over there. I mean, it's not like it's in Newark or something. It's got to be here somewhere. God damn, I hate losing shit. I mean, that's a stupid thing to say. Everybody hates losing shit. I mean, there's no point in complaining about things people already know how to complain about. The things they don't complain about are the things I should talk about. Like, for example, charity. I should bring that up. Um, because it's a charity weekend. AIDS and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there is something missing. You know, Dawa Films did a video, and he was just sort of a, a snarky, you know, petty asshole about it. But there is some validity to the ineffectiveness of what we do in the world. And even some snarky asshole brought it up in Stickham last night. You know, the whole problem with good intentions that end up, you know, getting a bunch of people killed in the long run anyway... It's, this, it's sort of like the feeding the poor problem. You know, you feed them, and what do they do with the money? Yeah, they have more babies that are starving, and then you got to feed them. And, you know, it's just this thing that just cycles into a um, completely unproductive thing. So it's almost like the Atlas Shrugged thing a little bit. Uh, you know, not to give Ayn Rand any credit. But, I mean, it's, it's sort of an obvious phenomenon. But obviously it isn't to the extreme of that kind of nihilist, idiotic philosophy that it's always bad to try to fix anything. It's not always bad. It's just we do it badly because we're lazy, stupid, um, give me the quick, shortest, you know, cheapest answer. Like, you know, I mean, I'm vulnerable to it too. You know, I have a stupid little crappy stick-on lens and it doesn't stick. And then I waste time looking for a fucking stick-on lens. So yeah, um, that's what we do sometimes. And it's not productive. And, huh, speaking of the not productive, amazing atheist. Um, you know, charitable guy that guy is. All the, oh, now the cigarette went out. Isn't that a bummer? All right, I'm going to, oh, fuck it, I'm going to go light it. Um, <laughs> so anyway, maybe I'll find my lens while I'm going to, anyway, to the charity thing. So yeah, there's just, it is sort of uninspired, you know I mean? It doesn't have like a real focus, it's not an arrow, it's not sharp, it's not, let's fix this thing, let's produce some really good videos. I mean, I think like, like this, this is just a simple solution, right? Like there should be one network on TV, one network that we could devote to not-for-profits, charities. They could all have a slated amount of time, 15 minutes a day, whatever, to run their infomercials. They could produce content. You know, that tugged at our strings and got us to give a damn. Um, you know, right, left, middle, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, you all enter into a lottery of, uh, you know, tax-exempt organizations. And, uh, you know, they could all have their little minutes. 
and then for age they could work on that and that's something that YouTube is kind of almost good for is this idea of um, you know amateur producers taking some time actually creating some content of value and then you know instead of the best of YouTube having a medium like that it's the worst of YouTube it's the buffoons of YouTube the clowns of YouTube that the damn networks put on TV and they do that because of how I've pointed out that uh, mm, that advertising only works on morons and clicking advertising only works on double morons so I mean the internet has even a dumber um, audience it's financed on it really is the suckers I mean idiots I mean neophytes and children are the internet's market and uh, you can see it in the, in the quality of the advertising and TV isn't much better but it is a little better um, but the point is is we gotta break that mold we, we gotta break free of that there's gotta be some content that isn't driven to satisfy that audience um, to attract that audience I mean if you have if you're, you're attracting an audience that likes to eat shit I mean, obviously, that's what the restaurant's going to serve, is shit. It's not complicated. We can all understand this, can't we? I don't want to be patronizing, but you can understand this, can't you, you dumb fuckers? And capitalists aren't going to feed you that. You have to do that, as the people. As the people. And, uh, you know, you're, it's just so lame. And so you either set up a charity to do that, you set up a charity that says, well, we're going to do all the shit the government can't do because you fuckers... Um, keep blaming the government for everything you vote for. You vote for tax cuts, you vote to bankrupt the country, and then you blame the government for bankrupting the country. I mean, get the fuck real. And then you blame the UFOs and the Martians or the fucking Mayan calendar. You're always looking for some goddamn excuse besides, oh, that's right, we were short-sighted, selfish bastards who basically mortgaged our children's future so we could have a bigger, fatter, faster cars fuckwits um anyway that's really not the subject but it always, always is the subject people suck that's the subject except for Karina of course <laughs> yeah she made a video yeah it was nice to see her again I haven't seen much of her she's been doing her celebrity thing and uh so yeah and she's a little late I mean still, still talking about the reason rally that's real lag got Romanian lag. I mean, that was over like a month ago. <laughs> but whatever. Um, and such. She popped in a stick cam last night, but just just popped in and then she popped out. But that happens. People have internet trouble. I, I myself have trouble sometimes getting into my own room, so uh, stick cam is a little buggy. Not as bad as blog TV yet, but man, blog TV, that is bad news. I watch some of the charity shit. And yeah, it was just people just saying, Oh, I like doing, I like talking to, to you people, and this is fun. I'll do this more often because, yeah, I'm, it's so interesting, and you'll love to hear about my stuff and, like, how I became a nail polishing, superficial frivolositor. Um, oh, just, oof. I, I hate atheists. <laughs> really, I don't like them very much. They really are. If Christians weren't such goddamn gay faggots, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, there's no way, there's no way to listen to it. Everybody's an idiot. <sighs> Sorry. A faggot is kind of redundant. <laughs> anyway, but everybody just seems so trivial, you know. I'm just using it as a generic crappyism for the trivialist, the smiley facey bullshit. I'm just so sick of these smiley facey bullshitters uh, everywhere. They're on the left of you, they're on the right of you. You just can't escape all these, you know, whatever, hopophiles. I mean, fuck hope. You know, let's get a goddamn plan. Let's make a bigger gun and tell the fucking world what it's going to goddamn do or else. Um, or something like that. So anyway, I guess the other subjects would be the videos I've done this week. It's kind of a two two forks in the road kind of thing. I did a few videos on you doubled. You can only see them there, you know, Fred's website. I had some conversation with Fred. And uh, there's some good stuff in there, I think. And, uh, you know, walk and talk style kind of conversation stuff, but I think it was pretty fruitful. And then there's um, a few videos, um, you know, Rose Bushy did some stupid, it did, it's an idiotic video. He got, he got totally raped, <laughs> you know, deservedly so, in his own comment section. 
and um, yeah, I mean, he's just, you know, he never had a lot of credibility, but he keeps losing every bit of it that he ever had. I mean, he just keeps playing all these little clown games. He's another trivialist, another frivolous, um, can't take a goddamn thing seriously ever. Um, and he's just, an, uh, his, his philosophy is just so um, nihilistic and... Um, um, uh, well, that, whatever. It's just covered. It's just it's just a hypocrisy covered in duplicity. That's all it is. It's a toxic philosophy cupcake of complete and utter fluff and feathers and bullshit. But so they all are. Um, yeah, there was some other comment I wanted to make about the "to be serious" video. Um, which is, you know, um, which it pointed to a Dawkins video, and so I did watch that. Um, and, the, you know, that was sort of... I, I mean, I did do a video on that, I think. But, I mean, there was a point about the Dawkins thing. I don't know if I made it or not. But it was just something that rolled around in my head. You know, because there was a point where they said that, you know, Dawkins has sold six million books. And I just thought about six million in the context of a world of seven billion people. And just that when you think about how few people on Earth have knowledge of this stuff. I mean, it's one in a thousand people, you know, own a Dawkins book. Maybe. Um... You know, that's a little bit, whoa, <laughs> you know, that's a little stunning. I have two of them, <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, well, whatever, I'm just saying it's a little bit frightening. It's a little, frightening's the wrong, it's just, just, whoa, that's all you say, you say, whoa. And then people keep harboring me to read a book, and I'm going to get like one-tenth or one, one-one-hundredth of the, one-one-thousandth of that. So then you're talking about a thousand you know, multiplied times itself. So you're talking about one in 10,000 people. I mean, one in 100,000 people you have influence on. I mean, it's just a, that's just a scary recipe for doom and failure in a way. I mean, it's just, it's just dismally, this unsatisfactory. But that's, you know, so me and Piro, the stick M thing was good. You know, we had some good conversations and Piro came in and we, me and Piro have talked a lot in the last three days. And, um, you know, we just keep rolling the same ball around and try to get it to go somewhere. And so we're still working on it. Um, and, uh, but yeah, we really need this. We need a mechanism that makes this content valuable and also gives it this liberty thing. Because, yeah, the corporations aren't going to give us any liberty. They're not going to, they're not going to, they're not going to feed, um, this part of YouTube, this, the, the, this, this, this philosophy shit and this 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 intelligent content they're not going to feed it because it doesn't feed them um, again intelligent people don't click ads it's just a fact um, they're not financing and therefore they're not going to be the audience YouTube is pointed at YouTube's going to point at the audience that you know I, I saw a video this week somebody linked to it I went and I saw it so it's this whole viral thing right and it's just a fucking frog sitting on a bench and it's got three million views. It's a fucking frog sitting on a bench. And yeah, it's cute and whatever, but that's all it is. It's just a frog sitting on a fucking bench. It's not even a frog talking. It's not a frog with some any kind of camera effects. It's just a frog sitting on a fucking bench. I mean, it's not good enough for three million views. Um, but anyway, that's a whole other side subject, right? Nothing's good enough. Um, everything's got to be a lot better. Well, my sneakers are pretty good. Ten bucks damn good. Anyway, but that's a whole separate subject. Um, kind of, mostly. Um, yeah, so whatever. Well, whatever. We're still in the game. We're still talking. We're still trying. So we'll see if something happens. But yeah, we got to make something happen in this world. There's got to be mechanisms for change. There's got to be things we can vote on. There's got to be things we can argue about. There's got to be... we got to make this... we got to kick this pig. Is that what they say? we got to fucking do something to get this thing moving. Um... And this fucking anonymous jackass ain't getting the job done, that's for fucking sure. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's gotta, we gotta have, we got to have a better ball to roll. <laughs> yeah, this is a bunch of stupid metaphors. But yeah, we need a better ball to roll. Um, yeah. This ain't going nowhere. My hair is a fucking mess. We need somebody... i got to figure out what kind of vitamin deficiency I got. I don't know might just be the age thing. My hair might just be getting old. So now it doesn't want to grow on my head anymore properly. But anyway, it really is irritating. Because, you know, it looks okay some days. But, yeah, days like today, it's just weak. 
Speak, be care. That's a weak accent, actually. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm um, just trying to think if there's something else. That's why I'm, you know, I'm looking for my lens. It just pisses me off. I mean, I knew it kept falling off, and I just didn't think about it. And it just, you know, I walked, and I didn't think about it. And so it fell off, and now it's gone. And yeah. And it came from China, so, yeah, it'll take me two weeks to get a new one. <laughs> yeah, not that it's a big deal. It really isn't. I got these better ones anyway. This is a nicer lens, but they're big and heavy and such. But I'll work on it. I should be able to make my own wide-angle lens. I really should be able to figure it out, but I just haven't got it right yet. Um, you know, there's a trick to it. <laughs> you know, so I have a lot of old, crappy lenses, but uh, you got to get the focal length right somehow or something. Ah, well, whatever. Science. I don't know enough about it. Um, yes, I'm admitting I don't know enough about something. I know that's rare. This stuff is myrtle. i got to dig up some of this stuff. Take it to work and such. Um, eh, let's see. What else is there? Damn, I want to find that lens. <laughs> I'm really obsessing. <laughs> oh, obsessions are fun. No, not really. Um, give me a reason to clean this place, though. Sheesh, what a mess. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't think, uh, I'm not supposed to say anyway anymore. I'm supposed to, like, I don't know, strip naked and spin around three times in a circle every time I say it, but I'm not going to do that. Um, i got to come up with a different penalty. Uh, I have to say something nice to, to be serious. That would be a good penalty. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, have to agree entirely with something Piro says. That might be a good penalty. Um, but anyway. Um, oops, I just said anyway again. <laughs> yeah, I'm way behind in my penalties, actually. Uh, Alright. So anyway, I think that's enough of the video. And such. So the real content is on the other channel. Oh, it fell over. Hey, you know, there's an ant on me. There's bugs crawling on me and shit. Did you see something about that? No, I really can't do anything about that. You're outdoors. Um, you know, and such. You, got some, you need a new paint job on your hat, too. Yeah, well, you know, I can't do it, you fucker. Okay, or well, whatever. He's a little cranky today. And such. Damn, I want that lens. I want it, I want it, I want it. But how you got I mean, I'm not going to find a green lens in this. I'm not going to do it. It's just not going to happen. I mean, I'm just daydreaming. Or something. Close to that, maybe. So, I think we're done. Birds are nice, chirping. It's like living in the house. Holy shit. <laughs> I gotta do something with this. Poison ivy. Look at that lovely vine. Yeah, lovely. I gotta do something about that, too. Anyway, keeps the neighbors away. Look, I have it right going right into the door. If somebody comes to visit my house, they get poison ivy. That's pretty cool, Gary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Alright, I'll fix that. Because that's kind of rude. Keeps the salesman away, maybe, right? Give the Jehovah Witnesses, give the Jehovah Witnesses poison ivy. That would be funny as hell. I have to admit, that would be funny. They'll all be all itchy and everything. It's Satan! He's possessed you! <laughs> I'm on my lens. All right, I was holding it in this hand, so it should be on this side. If I dropped it here, all right, I'm give up. I really don't want to give up. But I'm going to have to, I guess. So anyway, until next time. It really is pleasant. Just a pleasant day. Pleasant. So until next time.